everybody. <laughs> um, apologies are from the Pipers, Tony Knight and David Green. Ah. And we don't know. Pipers, close the tune. For sure, it might be late. But, um, right, are there any declarations of interest? Any dispensations granted? No. <clears throat> right, the, um, the minutes of the last meeting. Um, would you like to propose them? I propose them. You propose them after? I'll, All right. No, 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 you second them, sure. I'll second them. minutes. Um, is everybody in favour? Could you raise your hand? Agreed. 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 Nobody against or abstaining? Okay. Um, right, the High Street Recovery Fund. Um, all I have to say is I quite like this um, proposal from Mr. whatever his name is. Barra. Yeah, who's a traffic engineer. Sounds quite useful and sensible to do a survey for us. Um, and bring together all the different road things that that's the most important that we want to do yes. so that they don't all happen in disconnected bits. It's going on the screen. Oh, it's on the screen. It will be in a moment. Oh, right. Um, Ah. Oh, yes, sorry. Can I... You know, we were talking about signs for the road 20 miles an hour and all that. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we brought in some good things. And I noticed that in Birchington, they've already got the signs on the roads. Do what? they have to pay an arm and a leg for them? 20 miles an hour everywhere in Birchington. Birchington. As you go through the high street and everything. They've got more influence in Birchington, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a, a scheme as we're looking at now. We're looking for Birchington, yeah. and then it would have been done, presumably. Faversham have got it, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Mine would be some of it. And um, Lot and Canterbury, I noticed when I was driving around. So, what you've got on the screen is what um, Councillor Green and uh, Peter Burrow, one of our um, constituents, as a response to the consultation. Yeah. Um, we can, we've got that on the screen for you, but we can also get the scheme up um, as well, but it's only one, one at a time, so we can get the scheme up to show you if you want to look at that first. I think yeah. that would be a good idea, Chair. Thank you. Okay, sorry, Dean. Thank you. Do we all know Peter Burrow? people that started with the tunnels really helped them. Right. So he's ex highways and he knows everything. And he's, if you listen to him talk about stuff, he's clear, precise, very measured, and he's he's very, very on it. He can see the problems and, and explain why and what you can do. So he's brilliant. That sounds a very good idea. Yes, Councillor Wayne. I mean, I'm a visual learner, so something flat makes no difference. I just, I can't unpick it. So is there any chance we could get Peter to talk us through the layout, but out on the street. What? He'll know what's going where and what will happen. That, I mean, I can't, <laughs> doesn't really, I, I need to visualize. You're things. a kinesthetic learner. Yeah. That's yeah. a visual learner. <laughs> think, yeah, I need to be out there and yeah. somebody explain this road will be narrower. There's actually very little. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Very little. One of the concerns a resident sent to me, though, was that, that there are some width restrictions which will result in lorries not being able to turn, I think it's down into Military Road. I mean, it's all very, it's all very difficult because I go that way for my Porter store in my van and it's quite tight getting back, getting out. Yeah. And oh, we need to pass that on. I think there's been a lot of comments. And uh, he asked this at the mm. consultation and was told that there won't be any, that lorries won't be able to do that and they'll have to yeah. go all the way around town and down Madeira and walk. That, but that is when the tunnel is closed. I would suggest to 
to KCC, presumably, that the tunnel is maintained at night? Well, we need to do, we yep. do need to look at that. Yes. I remember Mr. Campbell saying that KCC would not pay mm. for the tunnel to be maintained at night. They what don't. do you think of the lack of use of the tunnel? Yeah. If we don't really need that much, please come. We don't really need that much maintenance, do we? No. I mean, yes. I went to it the other day. I mean, it's, it's full of lights. Mm. Yes. I've never seen so many lights. <laughs> yes, finally <laughs> maintained it on the list. <laughs> yes, kind of what, what they do with the one at Home Bay, what they do with the one at Home Bay, which is dual carriageway, is they shut, they do it during the day, but they shut half the carriageway down so that there's still, there's still traffic going both ways. They could do that in the tunnel. They could set up some traffic lights and service one side and then the other side, but it, I'm, I'm told it's all down to cost because we've been trying to solve the problem of Brett's lorries and lorries going out that way and coming in that way. But it does concern me that we are going to be forcing lorries. And I also wondered whether KCC have been fully consulted on this. They, there was a KCC man here okay. when, um, when they were having the talk through. But um, the other thing is, which I've gone out of my head already, God. Um, if they can't, oh yeah, if we put the gate on Military Road, they will have to be go through the gate. Once they get to Military Road, by whichever route they take, mm. they will have to open the gate for them. Mm. It's already put the gate at the far end, it's already there. It's already there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So what are we saying here? I'd like to propose that we do accept Peter's endorse his comments and accept his offer. Yes. Mm. yes. Again there. You second that. Yeah. yeah. Is anyone against? Uh, can we vote for it? Can I just make um, a comment? Just yeah. excuse me, Chair. Yes, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Just to say the deadlines for commenting is the 26th. Yeah, well, I haven't got onto the commenting yet. I'm just talking and this, about this accepting is, his offer. Yes, but that's for the highway plans, you mean? It's different. We're talking about two different things, shall we? Uh, yes. Yeah. There's the one that we're talking about the other one, the HIP, the Highway Prevent plan. plan. Yeah. Which presumably he's talking about, isn't he? He's, he's talking about this, isn't he? But he's, well, he's saying lots of different things, though. This is only. This is, Look, this is a highway, high street recovery fund. Yes. This doesn't include all the stuff that he's talking about. He's talking no. about lots of different places in Ramsgate. Yes. Uh, but before we get on to our comments, I was just proposing that we accepted his offer to try and make some sense of the whole. Yeah, of the whole Ramsgate. of Ramsgate. Yeah. yeah. And, right. then, and if that is passed, then we can go on. To talk about specific problems with the, um, and I haven't noticed whether we fill this form in as a council or we fill it in individually. Chair, you can fill. We can fill the form in tonight, or um, the town clerk has said that you can actually. We can actually just send an email of our comments yeah. directly to the planning. That would be better. Yeah, yeah I think so because it asks your age and everything. And we're very varied in our ages. So, I, um, Chair, sorry, I haven't yeah. had my hand up here. Um, can I just uh, draw your attention to um, to Mr. Burrows' uh, comments uh, on page two? The current TDC Highways and Pedestrian Movement Scheme. I support the objectives and layout of the scheme as proposed by TDC and their consultants, except to what is expressing below. Now, some of the things that are expressing below do not form part of this process. A lot of what he's saying is outside of this process, and I think that's something different that, that yes. we should be looking at. I certainly agree with him in relation to um, issues concerning the, the multi-storey car park and the signage. I think we've already discussed that in the past here, that something needs to be done in relation to that. Um, <clears throat> Personally, I, I mean, from my background, I'm quite happy to see him what's there. I've, I haven't really got any specific problem with it. Um, but, you know, if the majority of members wish to, to have this gentleman along to, to do something, then fine. 
Like, yes, because he is involving the whole of Ramsgate, and so that instead of us getting a little bit of money here and a little bit of money there and a little bit of money there, he he will put it all together so that when we do get the next little bit of money, we have an overall yes. plan, which seems to me a good idea. But we then now we're having talked about that. I'm not sure whether my proposal has been passed, but. You haven't voted on it. Hasn't. Haven't voted on it. But now I would like to talk about the specifics of this and any comments that we have. Chair, you will need to um, vote on your proposal to accept um, yes. the letter and offer and endorse um, what Mr. Borough has supplied. Um, however, you are. Various members are saying they accept part of it. Um, so what exactly well, are you accepting? Are you accepting his offer, offer on a voluntary unpaid and non-political basis to, de to the development of such a plan, which presumably is for the whole of Ramsgate, yes. not for this? The, no. the subject matter for this item is what you have on the screen. It's what they propose. So we can't actually that. introduce his letter and his recommendations. Well, I want to talk about so, yes. Because his, his, as we've said before, so his recommendation and everything is for the whole of Ramsgate is to see a holistic view and all the problems that go with it. This is a separate deal because, I mean, they've got money for this, so there's an element of, like, they have to fulfil what they applied for the funding for. So we get precious little say in this even if we wanted to. This is effectively a done deal. There's only so much we can say yes or no to, and then really and truthfully, that's only opinion. Whereas Peter Burroughs information that he's offering to give us is like, right, well, this is being done. What else needs to be done? What yes. can we do with regards to it? So they are very different things. Yes, that's we what need I'm to make sure. To say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we know what we're voting for. It's, he's not going to affect this. He has some specific comments on this about signage. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but it's not going to make any difference effectively to the road layout. Whereas, no. whereas we can accept his offer to look at Ramsgate as a whole, because actually that would be really helpful to us yes. in regards to the council and Ramsgate. So can we just you know, clarify what we're voting on and it's got to be separate? Can we just accept his offer to help us sort out the plan for Ramsgate? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is anybody uh, all in favour of that? Can I just confirm, Chair, please, just, just so I'm absolutely clear what I'm voting for, to accept Mr Burroughs uh, for him to come and talk to us about his view of what should be done for Ramsgate as a whole in relation to traffic movement and highway issues. That's fine, but we must ensure that it's separate from this. Well, that's what I am very much trying to do. Okay. Uh, the, yeah. the minutes yeah. will read that, um, it, as on page one, that yeah. he is making an offer to look at an over overarching plan as he calls it for Ramsgate um, free and on a non-political basis and it's to develop such a plan that's what he's uh, he's suggesting yes. that the this is what you're you're yeah. actually this is what you're going to vote on yes that section of it and then we can get on to yeah. the specifics of the SS Council at Crittenden. I just wanted to say I appreciate that I came in late and apologies for being late but I did read it before I came out and I've heard enough of what has been said since I actually walked in the room to say yes I would support that because I think that that's very important. We voted on it, we're about to vote. We're about to vote. No but I'm just, okay. I'm just saying. Right. Just right. So, so the vote is to... So on the time bit, it ties in I think with the 20s plenty thing that um, yes. it is. It is. Circulated. Yes. So, so the the motion is to take up Mr. Burbridge's offer. Peter Barra, ironically. Barra, right. <laughs> offer to to do something overarching for um, Ramsgate, um, and we're not talking about this yet, and we will come and talk about that next, if that's all right. Uh, all those in favour. Right, okay, yes, good. Unanimous. Thank you. Now, we want to look at any comments you want to make to TDC and presumably cases on it, well, through the system that they've set up. 
Um, and so, Steve, did you want to make? Sorry, cancel. No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, carry on. Sorry. Sarah, no. would you like Dean? Dean, you're okay to go through it, are you? Dean, Dean can go through each slide okay. for you, and you can make a comment on each slide if you so wish. It's just about four proposals that I put forward. Um, one continue crossing the junction, so this is for the road and so when you've got like a travel lodge yes. road, you've got a small <coughs> crossing road that comes into uh, the bike lane they're actually going to extend that out remove the mini roundabout for a crossing that would be brilliant. and they're going to have a turning so it's actually going to push it more into so yeah like council yeah, wing that said about the turning mm -hmm. the yeah. so that's the first one did you want me to go through all of them and then that comes at the end? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the first one. Um, obviously, it would be 20 mile an hour and 10 mile an hour and road. 30 miles an hour, one direction, and 10 miles an hour. Uh, the improved pedestrian crossing and character area is the second one. So this is outside of the Royal the bus stop. So it's going to be an improved crossing point. Um, and then they're obviously going to expand the bus stops. And that's going to be 20 mile an hour as well. Mm -hmm. The third one is removing the guard, uh, the guarding, and there's going to be a junction change, and that's by Harbour Street. So they're removing the railings that are going into Harbour Street on the corner at the end of this road, and they're going to have a different junction with a potential new crossing point there. And these, sorry to interrupt, the crossing points are actually raised. Different materials. Yes. Yeah. Like they've got all over broad stairs. Yeah. It's that one. And then there's the 20 mile an hour zone, which is all of that pink room. I'm sure you can see. So that's going through the town centre. So that's uh, the High Street, Park King Street, Queen Street, Harbour Street, York Street, and from uh, the Travel Lodge up to where the Old Institute Express building was and the whole of Harbour Parade. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the start, I suppose. Yeah, so let me get the overview up of everything so you can... Right, so comments, please. So, but, sorry, Councillor Wang, you had your... Hi, I've written here, I've got concerns about the route HGVs and, and larger lorries will take yeah, on I days think... when the tunnel is shut. I think we need uh, to... It looks as if turning left out of Military Road onto Royal Parade, the B24... To 2054 and vice versa, right from Royal Parade onto Military Road, is going to be problematic. Uh, that was actually confirmed by the KCC guy there, and he said they'll have to go all the way round and come down. So I, I believe this needs to be mitigated, and that KCC should un do one of two things only undertake maintenance of the tunnel at night, or if it has to be during the day, put some sort of traffic. traffic Traffic, traffic oh, lights. Yeah. It's like you say. There's only the odd car goes through there. Yeah. Looking at looking at the removal of the roundabout. I mean, when we lived on the Paragon, it was a well-known route for people racing down, particularly on motorbikes. From it seemed early hours in the morning, going one way and then coming back. Uh, I've got concerns about this becoming a bit of a a race track in, in and out because people do like to speed from one cliff to the other. Actually, late at night. So if the roundabout's not there to stop them, then what is there to stop them? Okay, we've got some, we've got some raised... I was going to say you've got raised we've walkways, got raised that's going to make it up. Uh, I don't think the roundabout stops them. No, no it doesn't. Um, don't stop them. Sorry. At least that's slow to go round the roundabout. Uh, they don't bother going around it, they go right over it. <laughs> And they've taken away the island, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Some concerns about it possibly being a boy race. Which is very well used, yeah. Boy what about bit. sleeping policemen? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think what that's what those raised bits mm. are meant that's to be. That's what those are there, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's each end of the raised table. <laughs> and I think, um, can I just check, is the whole of it raised from uh, <coughs> beginning to end, or is that... No, the that was the impression I got. Walkways are raised, aren't they? Yeah. So that you can walkway. I thought the whole blue lot was raised. I thought the whole blue lot was raised. I, I don't know. But I'm got sideways in the middle. 
I guess what I'm saying in Broadstairs, and when you go through that little bit in town, there is you're not building up speed onto it because you've got a turning. Here we've got a long, we've got a long, a long play into it and out of it, or or into it and out of it the other way. So if you, I don't think you can compare it to what's happened in Broadstairs. Well, it's only that they have got some traffic calming where we don't have anything. So yeah, there's more traffic comes from Councillor Alden. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Um, I, I actually support what Councillor Wing is saying in relation to turning into yes. the free road, especially for larger for larger vehicles. And, and uh, I think what Councillor Wing has suggested is very sensible. Um, and uh, I would fully support that, Chair. So um, I would be if Councillor, at the end of this, if Councillor Wings would propose that, I would certainly second it, Chair. Thank yes. You. Sorry, Councillor Moore. Thank you. Can I ask something about High Street? Because I, I was coming past uh, on Tuesday. I came down High Street and then turned that way. <laughs> Into his. Into Queen Street? No, Queen Street. Just, not as that far across. I was coming down High Street and um, before you get to the pedestrian way, oh, I turned on that way. George Street. And that, oh, no, no. Oh, oh George Street. Oh, Street. 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 Oh, Street. I don't know. No, that's the other side. Okay. Right. You're going into Effingham Street, aren't you? That way. George Street, yeah. You're either going right or left. Yeah, and I was driving and there was traffic before and after, so I couldn't stop and take photographs. There were two big lorries, and one of them was like that across the road. There were people who couldn't get past, there were other cars there. Lorry, the two lorries, mm. and I thought, what's happening? It is a bit of a nightmare. I've, yeah, but yeah, I went down the, the first road on your right, the, on your left, then I went down there and uh, to the back of what used to be Woolworths. Yes. There's loads of room there for I know. lorries. They can park, they can offload. And they can turn. Yeah, and the same at the other side, uh, where you're going down. And as you're going, up by the bank, opposite nationwide. Yeah. Up by the bank there. There is a big area to go in and park lorries. It will take lorries. You mean a broad, broad street? Broad street. What? I'll draw it for you. Uh, it's, yeah. it's slightly against what I'm doing at the minute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if I may, whilst, whilst I totally understand what Councillor Moore is saying, it's not, in relation, it's not in relation to this chair, yes. so uh, maybe that's something when we talk to Mr Burrows, mm. that maybe that could be that could be talked about there. Yeah, yeah that is yeah, a problem. I'm saying, there are signs saying no coming up here at, between this and that, and they still come up, and they still park, and they still are floor. Yeah. Uh, 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 the yes. problem. Well, I would also like to find out how they will police it, how they will intend to stop people speeding. Are they going to use CCTV? No. Why not? No money. Because you can't. You, you, CCTV, uh, in, they, they've got to be a proper um, uh, street speed cameras because these are not, CCTV is not speed cameras. It doesn't show you how fast no. A car is going, or even a bicycle <laughs> to that. Maybe we should ask them to do that because this is not going to work unless they can. Well, you can propose that, Chair. Yeah. If you want to get speed cameras in there, why not? So young. I was. Yeah. Oh, well, you were first, sorry. No, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Over in the corner, nobody sees you today. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> trying hard to stand up. <laughs> I, I was wondering about that, where they're going to extend, where the roundabout. It's yeah, they're going to bring the bit of road up. Does it have to be? Like Do we have a choice? I doubt it. it. Because people will still wander around, won't they? They don't always go on the crossings. No, well, people will do that anywhere, yeah. councillor. So you know. We need more room there for jaywalking. To turn, making deliveries along the uh, harbour. Sorry, councillor Nixie. I totally agree with, as, as, as Councillor Alden said, Councillor Wing's um, concern about lorries, because let's face it, yeah. lorries are going to come down and they're going to start to turn, although the more we can push for them to use the tunnel is obviously a good thing, isn't it? But if you look at that design and you look at what we've got now, 
whichever way you look at it, there's more traffic calming in that design than we have at the moment. Yes. So if we've got issues now, you can't say, well, those won't stop the issues because actually it's still better than what we've got. Yeah, so yeah. There, there's raised bits, there's more crossing, yes. they're narrowing it down, it's 20 miles an hour. I mean, you know, there's only so much we can ask for. What more than actually, that isn't a bad plan, actually, because it, at least it starts to address the yeah. situation and then it's going to be extended and so on and so forth. So we can sit here and say, well, what we'd like, but that is actually not a bad idea to get the ball rolling. Well, I think the, um, the traffic island at the bottom of York Street should be there because a lot of people cross there. Including but there's a crossing there. The crossing. No, no, the other side. There's more crossings. The other side. There's more crossings. There are more crossings. You've got to cross Military Road, then go across the crossing, and then go back. But at the moment, a lot of people will walk along by the harbour, and yes, there. There's a, tra a lot of people cross there, and the traffic is usually very nice about letting you go across there. Then suggest yeah. having an extra crossing then. That's because it's there. Yeah. It wasn't there, they weren't crossing. Yeah. Sorry, Councillor Crittenden. I, I wanted to say that um, I attended one of the um, sessions here, um, I think we the same day as you did, and uh, I think as uh, Councillor Nixie said earlier, or someone that um, there are going, this is it, there are going to be no changes to it. So I think any suggestions that we make now um, are for, I would suggest, monitoring to see the success level of it, because I do think, along with Councillor Nixie, I do think it, this is a, an improvement, um, but I suggest that we do have some kind of monitoring of it. I did raise the point that I know a number of residents have raised, which is actually extending the 20 mile per hour limit um, up both, at, at both ends, um, and they were very much of the view that if you introduce the 20 mile per hour limit too soon, particularly coming down Victoria Hill, by the time people get to the bottom, they're going to go, oh, well, I'm at the end of this, and they're going to speed up and shoot through. I don't know whether or not I was fobbed off or not, but hey. Um, and I would and just to support what Councillor Wing is saying. Um, I think we've probably all received an email from a resident who has also raised that point about it as well, and, and certainly uh, I, I can see that that would be a problem. So I think that's a, it's a case of monitoring that monitoring how many people are jaywalking around the middle. Um, and as far as the speed is concerned, um, there is the speed watch option. If we have um, residents who are concerned about it and are willing to um, set up a residence um, speed watch programme in that area, if they think it's a problem. Not many residents are there along that bit. It doesn't have to be residents living there, but it, it, yeah, residents of Ramsgate who yeah, or in that area would perhaps want so to. So apart from that, how do you suggest that we monitor it? I think in initially it would be anecdotal and it would be people saying it's a problem. Oh, yeah. If that, if that we start to get those reports, um, we could do that. Uh, we could then, you know, try and encourage people to set up a community speed watch program, or as my um, colleague immediately next to me, who has just whacked me in the leg, <laughs> in that subtle manner he has, in that subtle manner he has, has said KCC. Um, I'm not quite sure what he means by that exactly. Exaggeration. But... Exaggeration. <laughs> County Council. You're very well. Um, but I, reality is, I don't think KCC will monitor it, and I think it's down to anecdotal evidence, followed by, um, if we feel it necessary, we encourage oh, the Community yeah. Speed Watch programme. Okay. Um, who, sorry, um, I was just going to say, I, I'm forced to admit to having been part of the group that originally thought of this way back, although it's changed so many times since, I, I'm not sure I recognise it. But one of the features that, uh, I, I agree with Councillor Nixie, it's by no means perfect, but it's a big improvement on what mm -hmm. we had. And most particularly the focus on reducing speed, I think is crucial, and links in with what we're hoping to do with the neighbourhood plan and so on. Um, I think monitoring is, is going to be useful, but I'm not quite sure how we do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did want to say about um, crossings, one of the difficulties that we always had with crossings previously all the way along that stretch was basically the fact that, that KCC said 
until somebody's been killed on that road. Mm, yep. We're not going to, mm, and the yeah. huge cost relatively to the rest of the program of a crossing, I don't know why, I don't know enough about it to understand why, but the crossing bit is a, is a very expensive part of the whole, I gather. But I would say there's been a lot of press recently about the sort of crossings they have in Europe Different on the side roads yes. where they're just painted on. They don't yes. have pollution beacons. Absolutely. Have raised. Absolutely. And we could probably do with that, certainly at yes. Leopold Road, uh. yes. which is quite busy to get across that there and, um, and York Street. I think, I think uh, uh, thinking about the fact of the highways and improvement plan and all yes. that, maybe things that we want to build on from here. Yes. You know, along the lines of that was a great idea that you came up with, you KCC people. Why don't we do that in. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Karina. I think it comes to that second. I think it's. I think they've done research on speed on roads, and I think actually it's more effective having painted things on the ground, as in 20 mph, on the ground when you're driving, you notice that more than actual signs. Yeah. It's actually cheaper as well. Yeah. There's a crash map that you can look at on the KCC website. Oh well, there's an, uh, it's you crash, have to pay though. No, it's crashmap.co.uk as well. It's a, it? it's a website I to look and you can look it. and see what yeah. accidents have happened on that road in various times over the last 20 years, I think. So that's quite useful. I think that's how KCC find gather their data. Basically, they look at that. So they're not on the ground, they're looking at a website okay. with accidents. And as you said, it's if there's fertility, fatalities. Yes. It has to be at least two or three fatalities I'll for them to that. do I've anything. I've been through this before. So this is, quite a, mm. this is great for us that we've got some government money. Yes. This is specific money that is going to so that you can cross that road. The whole thing in that report is we want people to go into the town centre. That's what they want you to do. They want visitors and residents to be able to cross so they go into the town centre, either into Harbour Street, High Street, King Street, etc. So it's a way of bringing people in. That's why they're doing it. I don't actually agree that will happen. But that's their opinion. sort of raison yeah. d'etre. Sorry, Councillor Orban. Uh, yeah, thank you, Chair. Um, I, I just think uh, now, I think we've got we've got to the point. Uh, Councillor Nix has made a very good good point. Um, I will pass over to Councillor Wing to propose. I, I think we, I mean somebody has painted the crossing going up by Southern Water. <laughs> That's by hand. Anyway, go and have a look. It's entertaining. Uh, but yeah, I think yeah, it, it's it, we've increased the pavement area, which is good. Uh, I, I, I'd like to see twenty, but uh, reducing to thirty. I'm not sure what the speed is up there, but most people do more than thirty. It's thirty. It'll be thirty. Yeah. It's written it's down. So at least, you, at least you can see it on the road. I agree with that. The, the, the symbols on the road, but I still have concerns about 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 that junction, and we can't change it. And there are, there are issues now. So, and the issue relates to the tunnel. So, I think this is an opportunity to put pressure on KCC about mitigating this problem. And there are two solutions. One is service the tunnel at night, and the second one is if it's serviced during the day. Please, can we have some traffic light system that that, that enables traffic to use? What are they doing when they service it? I don't know, but I'm, they clearly have to. So. Cleaning the lights. So, can I propose some sort of motion? Well, Arlene's got it written down. I've got it written down. Right, is this your proposal? Yeah. Um, RTC raises concerns over the HGV route when the tunnel is shut. Mm. Turning left problematic from, um, I'll put all the roads in, it's not a problem, um, uh, both ways. Yep. Um, to mitigate this is suggested that maintenance of the tunnel at, at night, should be at night, or use traffic control if maintenance carried out during the day. Um, I can add concerns about uh, the the road coming down, uh, being used as a racetrack. I could put that in if you wish. You need to do that. No. No. Okay. No. I'm just working through what I've noted. I finish up for filming today, so I do and, not know what to do with that. Um, also, RTC recommends that the scheme is monitored to check on its success. 
do you want that left in? This is your proposal. Yeah, that's okay, Montreal. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't think they I will. Second, I would second that. Yeah. yeah. Shall we have a vote on that, or do you? Got well, two speakers. Councillor Austin and I both got our hand up just to ask. Um, I, I just want to ask um, the email that we received from the resident about that left turn or not out of Military Road indicated that there was some convoluted <coughs> alternative route involved going up. Yeah. And coming out your clue. Yeah. And co coming up now that way. It's down Boundary Road, yeah. it's down the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which is, which is just as ridiculous mm. as Donald Lawrence. So left out of there. So the tunnel's an issue. Yeah. The the tunnel, tunnel. Yeah. And we don't really want the lorries going through what is supposed to be now a nice, mm. friendly pedestrian well, area. You've got a lorry going that way and one coming this way. It's going to be too narrow, which is also what's going up and down. You can't stop them. No. <laughs> Right, um, yes. Could I propose an amendment? I wasn't here at the beginning, so this may already have been dealt with, but could I propose an amendment to reflect what Councillor Nixie was saying about RTC strongly welcomes the traffic calming measures and <laughs> the speed, whatever, but has the following concerns? I, I don't, I, I don't think we should be yeah, I think if we looking unduly negative, because actually there's some really good things in this for us, I think. I, th I would support that, yes. Councillor Austin, if, if the Ramsgate Town Council supports supports this with concerns. With concerns, yeah. yeah. So, and right. mitigation, yes. yes. The traffic calming and the All right with that. speed limits. Yeah. Yeah. Councillor, will you accept that amendment? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Right. Have we got a second, sir? We have. Yeah. 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 Of course, you have already. Yeah. Uh, all those in favour? Councillors? Agreed. Those in favour? Exactly, shall we? Just make a point. The yeah. point is, this is consultation. They will change things yeah. if they think it's, you know, we're making well, a good suggestion. So. Otherwise, there's no point in having consultation. Well, we know about yes. consultation. No, but this is government yeah. money. This is central government money. They will check with the whole thing from start to finish that we've done. Yeah. They have, TGC have done what they are meant to. You know, they're not just sort of going to fling the money into the sea. At the presentation, we want uh, they, at the presentation, there was no sense that this was a consultation. This was a consultation in, in as much as we're telling you what we're doing. Yes, through. If there's not I've, I've been through, through lots of consultation of the words. Well, I or that are just token. Yeah. But, but if they can, no, no, we've still got to say. Yeah. 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 They have to give a reason why they don't want that to happen. Mm. You know, you've given good yeah. money. Yes, yeah. money. No, but they've got the money, they've got a budget, you know. Got well, I think the mitigation doesn't involve any money, does it? it, it, it exactly. Because actually, TDC have put calming measures down down Military Road because I've been on on it on it yeah, yeah, quite yeah. a lot. So TDC, to be fair to them, have put some changes in, but the key factor remains the shutting of the tunnel. The tunnel. Yes. Uh, I mean, the barrier's now in, so that will be that will stop through traffic. But when the tunnel shuts, where do they go? Five, but that's yeah. that's, that's, and that's KCC. So I think the ball's firmly kicked into their court. Okay, so have we finished with yes. this? Right. Okay. So we've now got to hand over to Eileen and Dean and consider the planning applications. Okay. I'd just like to say before we start, can we make sure everybody has a chance to have a say about it before people start proposing things that we've got to stop and vote on. So, because sometimes people just rush in at the beginning and propose something. Just make sure that everybody has a chance to have So, Councillor Wing, sorry. This one's really confusing. It confused me because we get a list of we get a list of everything, and then we we get everything that comes into our walls. And I actually emailed the planning officer to what because there were two planning applications one was for the flat by itself and then one was for the whole building apparently it's retrospective part of it so i got it, i got incredibly confused with exactly what was going on and what wasn't going on did you <laughs> I looked at both planning applications and just really so, just um, because people watch this and they don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Right, Councillor Wing. I'm sorry. Um, um, the 
Meetings being streamed without me reading out what the address is. The public watching don't know what you're looking at. They can't see what's on the screen. They can see that. Oh, sorry, my apologies. It's 17 Regency Court, St Augustine's Road. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, so uh, just for the alterations of the plan from one bed to two. Um, so this is the original plan, so it's the bottom purple one. This is the only flat we're looking at. So you have the lounge, the kitchen, the bedroom. What they're changing it to is adding a bedroom there and putting the lounge, dining and kitchen all in one. So basically I think changing the lounge into a bedroom. Two bedrooms. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the only change yeah. with the sound connection. Sorry, do we have the site plan of exactly where it is? Somewhere. So the site plan is, so it's just off from Spencer Square, so okay. you can see by the Grange. Okay. I've got, now, now you've explained that to me because it, it, it confused me <coughs> because I thought they were creating one more, an additional no. map because there was two separate planning applications. Okay. So I, I, I don't see an issue with that. No. Yes, Councillor. Uh, Chair, I, I know you said about letting people speak, but I don't think anyone's going to speak on this. Uh, well, let's just chat. Does anyone want to say anything? No. You go ahead with your. And I pro propose that uh, we uh, we make no no comment on this, on this application. Second that. Okay. Uh, if, um, those in favour? Uh. Your second application is land and buildings on the north side of Boundary Road. It's the removal of condition 19 from planning permission already um, agreed. It's in the conservation area. Councillor Crittenden, you called call this in um, concern of pedestrian safety, but Dean will um, advise on the actual application. Thank you. Uh, this was actually something that both Councillor Austin and I um, were concerned about when I first saw it. Um, I'd like to see it up on the maps because uh, there was originally um, a proposal uh, in that area for a pedestrian crossing and uh, that is now being removed so there will not be um, a, the pedestrian crossing in there. I think, I, I think the pedestrian crossing was probably just like, an, it's a traffic island to facilitate crossing. Yep, so um, um, what they've uh, said, I've included the design statement, so due to the highway works included for the traffic island, uh, it's apparent that delivery trucks and other local retailers had problems negotiating the junction. So the proposed island was... So where did it? That's the bit I want to see. Come on, baby. Entertains with a song, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Disappeared already. <laughs> so the proposed island was just there to allow people to cross oh, across the junction oh. and obviously turning vehicles into their delivery slots up here. It was proposed, so they basically removed the island. They removed from there. that. Oh, so I would have thought they could make the, the junction bigger. Is that there's an island here already and an island up here for the old site that people Very can true. cross. Very true. Quite, quite a different um, set of people crossing it though, uh, at that point. That, that is about pedestrians walking into the, the car park, um, whereas the other islands are about people crossing a main road. Um, they are there. I, I you know this pavement, where the pavement goes? Hello. Pavement is a line, is the... Um, That's the original pavement there. Obviously yeah. You've got the original... Yeah. Which and does that there. pavement carry uh, on round into the car park? Uh, I know that I've had comments from residents um, about the long sweeping um, entrance and the loss of, of pedestrianisation along there. Um, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm quite agile on my feet, but that's a long way for somebody to cross on that side of the road without a resting point in the middle. I mean, if, and then if you imagine somebody with dogs or a parent with a child or somebody on a mobility scooter, they've got to get across that junction with quite a lot of traffic going in and out, in and out. of the of the uh, the new the new the supermarket. Car. So I'm I'm with I'm with uh, the two councillors that that the removal of that island I think puts people at risk. I think well, I actually that. haven't expected them done. I mean, there is the, there is a pavement on the other side of the road. Exactly. Um, and that's all right if you're able-bodied. 
Uh, Councillor Nixie. I'd like to... I mean, I can see both sides of it, but I don't know that many entrances to many supermarkets, the rest of it, where there is an island just on the entrance. Because, I mean, you know, it's, an, it's, a, it's a standard width of a, of a normal single carriageway road, isn't it? Um, and I, I, can't, I can't think of, in my head, of another example where there is a traffic island there. Can I just say... The one at the current Aldi's. You go in one way and out another. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's a one-way system. There is. I can't. You've still got to walk yeah, across it. One way. Yeah, but you're only one, it's only one lot of traffic. It's not coming both ways. Yeah. Even walking into Waitrose is a bit of a dicey yes. thing, yeah. actually. Um, yes. So, so uh, sorry, Councillor Crittenden, can I just ask, are the lorries going in that way as well? Or well, I think that, that's, the, yes. that, that's the issue, um, is that that is the entrance for the, for the delivery lorries. Cars as well as three lorries. Yeah, and I, and I think the challenge will be that they're going to end up running over it and it's going to get damaged. Mm. And I, I can see how, from a purely practical point of view, they, they would want it to not be there because it is going to make it difficult for the lorry drivers. Um, I, th I suspect, I think, that we need to note our disappointment um, that, it's, that this safety measure is being removed, but I, I'm not sure we can actually do a lot about it, and I think we've already had a... We could have one of those painted crossings. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. A lot of that... That's a possibility. So the, painted, so, so the pedestrian has got right of way and not the car. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Councillor Orban. Yeah, Chair, um, uh, you know, if, if, if we wanted to refuse this no. and, and recommend no. refusal of this, no. there's no way that you win anything that if, it, if the TDC refused this, they would lose it on appeal and they would gather costs against them. Yeah. There is no way that, that this would ever get passed. So, I'm sorry. Uh, who's first? Recommend, right. rec oh, recommend, sorry, Dean. Uh, recommend that you're totally upset about it, but I don't really think. Uh, just, just to advise that um, they put in there the Kent Highways or Green, the best option is to admit it. It would, because I've seen it. Sorry, Councillor Wing. Sorry. I, I think we can challenge it, and I've sat in loads and loads of planning meetings where I'm quoted sustainability, and sustainability is about building properties with as few car parks as possible, parking space spots as possible. I mean, if you take that sustainability argument, which you know I am sort of in favour of because we need to reduce car numbers, then in order for this to be sustainable for people to, to walk safely and cycle safely, we're not putting the pedestrian's priority over, over vehicles. So I think we use a sustainability <laughs> argument here. And I think that junction needs to be safer. It's, it's two-way two junction. The existing building doesn't have a two-way <coughs> junction. It's going to have lorries going in and out of there. Uh, so I think there's a safety Austin. Can we propose a, a painted crossing? No. We accept that there is that they're that they're going to get rid of that traffic, and I can see the reasons why. But it, we're not in a position to suggest that, are we? Not no. Councillor Robin? No. Why can not? Do. Yeah, can do. Why not? Um, why not? Yeah. Well, for instance, the issue is about its removal. Yes, it's simple as that. You can, you can, you know, there's no way they either want it or they don't. But we're talking about pedestrian safety, aren't we? So yeah. can we say we accept that this is this is the done deal and this is what's going to happen? But can we propose instead an alternative Some mitigation, to promote, uh, yeah, the safety of pedestrians? Yes, and, and safety. Yeah. Do we know what the reason is for removal? Yeah. Yes. Lorries. 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 Lorries are going to knock it over. Basically, yes. Right, sorry, Councillor. Mm -hmm. say most deliveries, I think, to supermarkets, they're timed at a particular time, usually in the mornings. So mm -hmm. it's not going to be all the time that big lorries are going to be going in and out of there. That's one point. There isn't really any other e exit yeah. to the site. That's the problem. But they could have done if they designed it differently. I know that's what somebody the bridge, is, yeah. 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 Can we just remind ourselves too? Sorry, do you have my hand up? Yeah, sorry. I'm... Remind ourselves too. That's not the only pedestrian entrance into that area. So it's not like everybody's coming around and then going through that. We're not there's an entrance through the back from the from the back roads, and there's an entrance over here, isn't there? From 
But I don't think we're child. talking about pedestrian entrance. We're talking about pedestrians walking up that road. I know. I know. Right, what okay. I'm saying is so. Mm. So it's not like a lot of people are coming around to go in, is what I'm saying. And so we're just talking about the people walking down that road. And as we've said before, there is another side to the road. So it is, it's not that much of a used road, is what I'm saying. So we can, I'm, oh, I'm all for sort of like saying that we're not happy with it, but I'm, I'm not sure we're going to get anything else out. No, no, I, we could say that, okay, we accept this is going to happen, but could they consider yeah. mitigation? Uh, certainly. Uh, no, certainly. Mitigation for um, pedestrians. Pedestrians, yeah, sorry. Oh, I agree with that. Just to say that is the only entrance, as far as I know, into the supermarket and the car park. Yeah, there's an entrance Traffic. through St Luke's Avenue, but that's for the flats that's that are going to be built right. on the left-hand side. Curious. So I don't know whether you can go between the flat site oh, and that yeah. site. I'm not sure. Oh, I stand corrected if that's the case. I think it's two ownerships of the land. I think Aldi's own the right-hand side, right. and do Blueberry Homes own the left. Right. Okay. And it's going for planning. I asked, and Peter Campbell did put it in, that the shop should be at the front. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they and the car that. parking at the back. Well, <laughs> they'd get many more pedestrians than if it was. Yeah. Right, yeah. Councillor Wayne. That road is a busy road because there is yes, a I think, just round the corner. Yeah. So yeah. At, at, at the start of the day when lorries would deliver, as they do at Wilco's, uh, and at the end of the day, there is a lot of traffic, a lot of people walking traffic. little kids to school there, so there is quite a large number of pedestrians. Right, Councillor Crittenden. I think there are, one thing that's worth pointing out is if you look on the bottom left hand um, and the blue and red dotted line coming across the bottom and then up, that is actually open space. All of that wall and everything else has already now been knocked down and it's got extremely good visibility and people like me will probably step over the fence and across the between the flower beds and everything else. Um, however, as you go up from the middle to the, the top right, the historic wall um, that was there before is still there, um, with its graffiti. Um, so, as you're if you are walking on that side of the road as you're coming down, your visibility as you approach thing is poor. I personally would encourage everybody to walk on the other side of the road. You can do that. But, you know, from a safety point of view, it, it just makes more sense. Um, and, but there is, a, there is that, which you can't see on those, those drawings, but you do have that wall and you don't at the bottom. So. Okay, so are we proposing that we they have operational reasons to do that, but can they please consider? Mitigation. Um, mitigation for pedestrians. Yes. We could say that we agree with the removal of the bollard to help the passage of, of, of to help the flow of lorries in and out, but we feel this there's a risk, it's a busy, it is a busy pavement at certain times of the year, particularly with small children and parents taking their kids to the school, and would they look at another type of crossing there which is flush with I it. I think that's what we've just said. Yeah. Yes. 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 Can we make that proposal? I'll propose that. Yeah, sorry, Councillor. Yeah, I'll second it as I... Oh, oh right, you second it. I'll second it. Yeah. So that we accept that they're for operational reasons, they, they have to do that. But can they please consider mitigating the situation for... Yeah. Pedestrians. All right. All those in favour? No? Right. The next one, Councillor. Oh, sorry. Um, Deputy John Clark. Bear with me. Sorry. Yeah. It's an interesting one. Yeah. Okay, your next one is 18 Harbour Street. Um, change of use and subdivision of the ground floor from arts and community centre to a mixed use retail and taxi office, together with the change of use version of the first floor and erection of a two story upward extension to, to create six 
one bedroom flats called in by councillors Ara and Makinson. Mm -hmm. Reason for calling taxi office will generate more antisocial behaviour in Harbour Street in appropriate location for the use. Thank you. Well, just leaving the taxi office aside for one minute, uh, what about the, can we see what they're doing further up? So, uh, yes, With the flats. So this is the existing front and rear, so uh, you'll see the front first and then the rear. So they are going up two floors, right? which will mirror the existing, the and it's going to level up with the other yeah. oh, yeah. oh, it's Phil Dats. Oh, oh right. I like that. You are too. That does look and bad. It's all right. The, the building's fine. Building. So it will level up with this yeah. building here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like okay. Yes. I, I did look at this one online. It, this one falls within my ward, and uh, I, I did look at it. Um, I actually quite like the, the look of the appearance. I think it's quite in keeping with the neighbour, um, both the shop front and the, the upper floors. Um, I do realise it's a little bit of an infill, and I guess um, longer term, that little tiny bit in the middle may well go up as well. Um, so as far as the flats are concerned, within yeah. this application, I, I'm quite happy with that. Um, regarding the, the taxi office, um, the taxi office that was two doors down, or three doors down, actually no, next door, I think, next door. Is where, yeah. has been lost. It's so we've lost it. been taxi. lost. Well, that's closed. That's had to close because that, that building that used to be the harbour, whatever it was, Bazaar has the property has been sold and is being renovated, yep. and so the taxi office has moved out of there. And I don't know if it's the same taxi office. Um, so, it, so it's no different to what was there before. It's just moved from one place to the next door. So I don't see a problem with it. Ah, <laughs> well, um, if, if I could just say that the local residents have got a, a petition. They, there are videos mm. of the, the taxi office is only going to be open from 10 at night till 4 in the morning. There are videos of the riots that go on outside with the ambulance and the police coming to sort it out mm -hmm. and getting, and people live there and more people are going to live Is there. Is that how it was before it moved? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. it's been always, always. It's, so I'm just checking, so I'm, what I'm saying is it's no this, change. This is our gateway mm. from the harbour into the town mm. and this is really inappropriate use. We'll have a taxi office in a pedestrian street which will be blank during the day Mm. And anyway, sorry, who's first? Trish, uh, Councillor people Austin. Have, I mean, the people who were on this council previously will remember that we saw all the videos of Ben Morton when yeah. he lived yes. at 26 Park, Harbour Street. Um, we all objected to the taxi office being there, particularly at the narrowest part of the street, for precisely those reasons. TDC turned it down. They appealed to the Secretary of State. They got it. They got it. We're not going to, we can, we can and we should raise objections to this, yes. but actually, as Councillor Crittenden says, it isn't a change in the sense that we've had a ca taxi office there, it's been bloody awful, and it's going to move, and it's, it's a change of use for this. Building. Yes, but I mean, what, what, but, but from the point of, from the planning point of view, it, it's, it's just the same facility moving down the street. Uh, but it is the most wholly inappropriate place to have a taxi office. And that firm, as I understand, actually has a base round the corner by Iceland yes. where it would be perfectly possible for people to congregate or for people to ring because it's private hire and get the taxi to come to them. There really isn't a need for that. And there's oh, that one in your street. But the Secretary of State has allowed it and I don't know what we do about that. Well, I, th I still think we, we object. Sorry, Councillor Young. Because when we, when we saw that video and the guy was... In Harbour Street, yeah. that mean that people were fouling in sort of yes. people's and he's left. front yeah. doors. And, he's yeah. left, he's moved his family away. Well, I'm still there, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. So I think we should, uh, you know, just for the sake of uh, the residents and day by day, yeah. our town centre is becoming okay. more residential. We should, yeah, we should say you know, it. I think we object it strongly. We should definitely you know. say it, but I don't think we'll get anywhere. No, but we've got to though. Uh, Councillor Wayne. Oh, sorry. Uh, I I took this because I'm on I'm on licensing. Well, I was on licensing. Uh, I'm off now, but. Uh, Hopefully, I'll be back on it soon. But I took, did take it up with licensing to just check. We cannot do anything about the license because the license moves with the company. It's attached to the company. So, so we can't do anything about that. But I am sort of with my colleagues around here to try and object to this. On Our, our town centre is changing. Uh, the, the access to the high street is, is, is changing. We want to reduce cars going up. Uh, so I think there's a loss of immunity, there's noise, there's antisocial behaviour, the there isn't a pick-up point for the, or a waiting point for the taxis on there. It's, uh, so I do think we need to try and challenge this, even if we lose. Yeah, yeah. And I think given yeah. the data, and this shop will be closed, don't forget. Yes, that's so exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Councillor yeah. Organ. Yeah, thank you, Chair. I think let's, let's not lose sight of what you've got is the application, part application for a change, a change of use in relation to the, ta to the taxi office. Now the taxi office is not responsible for the people who congregate outside, drunk, urinate or whatever that they do, fight and whatever. It's not the taxi office that's causing the problem. It's the drinking establishments that let people drink too much. And then when they congregate, they're all leery and whatever. Yeah. So I think you, you've got to, you, you have to put this in a planning uh, perspective. And the planning perspective is that can you refuse the taxi office that was next door to this one? The answer to that is no, you can't, because there is no lawful way of doing that. Um, by all means, you can't, and therefore the, the taxi office is under a license. Mm -hmm. And it's the license that controls the taxi office, not the planning, the license, because there will be no conditions on it except for hours of use for the tax for the taxi office. So you need to put that into perspective. Of course, we all care about the residents and, and, and what they have to go through and everything, and that's that is important. But at the end of the day, you can't, you you, you can't. By all means, you can put something say we we don't like this because it's going to cause a problem. Well, you can put that anywhere. You can you can in, in Broadstairs, there's three taxi offices down the high street. You know, right. I've been I've been the taxi office there and ended up in a punch up in the, in the middle of the bloody high street. Unfortunately, you know, old man having a fight in the high street, but. Uh, the, the, you know, was it our fault? You know, if we don't have to it, <laughs> we must be doing it. You know, and people want to start on it for some reason. You know, drugs, whatever. You know, sorry, but I so Councillor Hetherington. Yeah, I mean, I totally understand what everyone's saying about the public nuisance that this is causing, and I agree with Councillor Orban. I mean, it is the drinking in that high street, but aesthetically, this building looks quite nice, actually. Yes, I want, and I like the idea of... Yeah, no, no, we're, 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 we're fine with that. that. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. yeah. Councillor I think Councillor Orban has said um, a, a lot of what I, I completely agree with. You know, this, there is nothing we can do with, about it. It's moving from there to there. But... Uh, Separate to this discussion, I think we need uh, the councillors in um, Central Harbour and, and East Cliff are planning on meeting up to look at some wider issues in the town centre. And I think, as a council, one of the things that we could look at um, is these particular problems, but we need to do it separately from the planning debate. Um, and there is one other thing I mentioned just now is I do like the idea of the six flats, but yeah. one of my, my big bugbears in the town centre, and I think Councillor Nixie alluded to it um, just now with the, the more and more residents in there, is it's more people with more cars needing more parking. Yeah. Um, yeah, they can't park in and I know, the, you know, well, but it's just, I just want to acknowledge it, that's all. <laughs> yes, get a taxi, thank you. <laughs> Go nip downstairs and get a taxi. Cars ain't going down, they're just going to go into it. I just, I just wanted to acknowledge that.
Yes, Councillor Huxley. Is there a plan case for um, trying to get them to change their hours of opening, as in the taxi office? Why are they just saying? Why? Yeah, Why? Nice. Because they just want to pick up the drunk. Exactly. Yeah. So, well, can, can't we object to that? Isn't that licensing again? That is licensing. But it is planning as well, isn't it? No, it's not. It's licensing. Well, it is, though. It is planning as well. They put, well, it, they put that in, in that planning application. I did say that, that in any planning application, they put a condition on uh, <coughs> They're applying for that, so whether or not the, the planning officers will say in, in, in yeah, yeah. conjunction with licensing officers and environmental health officers in relation to noise disturbance and all of that, exactly. that will be taken into consideration within that application we question but, and, and on the hours of operation. How we enforce Can we not question that? Why does it have to be? We know why, but <laughs> we object to it being in the middle of the in the middle of the night, for example. I mean, what about the one, the one in the okay. store? Yeah. 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 Is that what are its hours of opening, for example? I don't know. They're, they're open during the day because they yes. pick up a lot of shoppers. But are they open at yeah. three o'clock in the morning? I don't think they I don't are, know. are they? Right, who else the had their hands up? Oh. The Councillor Young. Do we, do we take into consideration people's quality of life? Oh, I mean, they pay their rates and we still have these disturbances at night. Well, that's what we're trying to talk so about. Would we be able to put that at the point? Yeah. Well, we, we are talking about disturbance to res residents. If, if I may, uh, the, what's his name? Bra Ben, who left Harbour Station ben, because, uh, because of the antisocial behaviour. Yeah. Because of his children couldn't go to school in the morning. Couldn't wake up, you know, because of the yeah, noise the and uh, yeah, all yeah. the fights that were going on. Ben Morton. So it's the guy from the Vietnamese restaurant at the moment who's who's getting this getting position up. Position. Yeah, the councillor Austin. I just wanted to go back to the um, the flaps. Uh, which I, I agree with councillors who you know like the look of it. I think it's, it could be a, a big improvement actually. I just want to check about arrangements for waste. Arrangement for waste, for waste. waste yes. Oh, because there's a lot of problems along that stretch yeah. with the goods <laughs> and everything. <laughs> just here. How you get the into the flat? How, where's the entrance? I think there was something I saw about it. But I'm oh, is it on the right hand side? Ground floor. Yeah. Ground floor. Right. Oh. right. I would have thought they'd be just... It's a store around here at the time. Courtyard out the back. Yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, picnic table in it. Yeah, but if that's their only way in, they've got to bring their bins down, take them round the back. But there is no back entrance there. I hope. What's the, um, the, the waste collection residential in that area? Is it... There's no... Obviously not... Is it like seagull-proof bags? So they, they, these will be seagull proof bags then, don't they? Left out on a high street. But, uh, don't, don't go down to seagull proof. I was oh, giving the jitters. Augusta Road. Augusta Road is. I know it's not up to us to say, but I think it needs a secondary means of legal escape from up there. That's the last bit. TV you can say board. that. You're allowed to say that. TVC yes. every week. It's a planning issue. Oh, that's on my agenda. When well, it's the building ranks, isn't it? Yeah, but it's within that. Sorry, what, it, sorry yeah. Dean, is there a bit? There's no, there's no bin store. As far as I can tell, it's no bin storage. Oh, no bin, no cycle store. There's bin a store cycle, but that's a retail storage. So can we just make a note that we're concerned about? Mm. We like the look of it. We yeah. Yeah, about. Yeah. I actually think that's chair. Yeah, I actually think that's a valid reason yeah. for objecting uh, in relation to that, and also the, the taxi office whether that will have that would need a commercial waste. I'm license. Sure. Yeah. Where would they store their way? Not that yeah. I imagine they have much, but where would they store that and what would they do with that? They're already operating, by the way. Yeah. What in that in there? In that building. Yes. In that building. Are they? Yeah. About consent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, they did it that's right. not illegal. No, it's not illegal. It'd be a rep to see it. It's all done outside the news to get a proposal. Yeah. 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 Okay, folks, what we're going to propose. First of all, that as far as the flats are concerned, we like the appearance, yeah. but we are concerned about the lack of refuse facilities, yes. both for the flats and, and commercial. Yeah. Commercial, um, unit. commercial. Yeah. 
I'm also concerned about the access to the flats. That's an awful lot of flats going up one tiny space. Six. Yeah. yeah. Two, on each, two on each floor, isn't there? I don't know whether that's all right or not. I go two on each floor. To me. Not that. Two on each floor, two flats on each floor is not, you know, with that size. They're good size flats by the look of it. Yeah. It's not two, is it? There's more two on each floor. Yeah, two on each floor. Um, they're quite big flats. Okay, and um, I would like to propose that we think it's inappropriate use of a shop front in our in a our prime what's it call it commercial street um, plus residential. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I am with you. I do think I, I'm not objecting to the taxi rank, but I just think it needs to be elsewhere. So I think I think we need to put that as part of the we're, we're, we're objecting to the position of the yeah, position, position, of, position it, yeah. of it. It's totally inappropriate. There's a loss of amenity for other people in that area as a consequence of that change of use for that building, which is well evidenced by where it was previously. Yeah. Can we yes. can we split the proposal because I can I can vote for half of it and not the other half. Okay. Okay, Councillor Makinson, are you are you what are you proposing that the flat the flats we we don't object to the appearance of the flats. Yeah. But are concerned about the waste storage, waste storage waste for storage. the flats waste and the commercial waste. property. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cycle storage access and access. Access and access. Right, we voted yes. on that then. Yeah. So that's the you first. need a seconder for that. Okay. Anyone? Yeah, Councillor Austin will second that. Sorry, Chair. Can I, I can I just make a point here, Chair? A point of uh, order here, Chair. Um, if we're not going to go against the flats, I say, say the flats are acceptable, apart from the couple of bits we're talking about waste and whatever, which is fine. Um, we are saying that we're going to have more people into the Harbour Street area yeah. Yeah. and uh, into a vibrant part of the town, exactly. which is a nighttime, nighttime economy, yeah. so you can't have your cake and eat it, right? You can't, we're, we're, we want to put more people in, but you're saying you want to protect these people, but you're happy to put these in, and if the, if the taxi office is, is approved, then you're putting people in where you, you didn't want the taxi office to be, and if the taxi office approved, then, then that was going to cause them more problems with people moving in there. It's so there are already people, yeah. so there's there's already already people been... living in Harbour Street oh. before we get to this. Well, aren't we saying that street is inappropriate, there's no waiting yeah. area for taxis, yeah. it's antisocial, and there's an area around the corner. So we're not against the taxi rank per se, we're against... Position. The position is the fact they're not using it during the day in a vibrant street, and you know it's, it's just it's a waste. Again, social. So we are covering that, aren't we? Yeah. I can't say a taxi office in itself is antisocial. It's because they have the uses people though. coming Customers. there. It's not antisocial. They should be an ordinary private hire office and get people to ring from where they are, but they don't. They, everybody goes there. But that's not planning. That's licensing. Yes, it's nothing to do yeah. with planning. So that's the problem. Our only, our only reason to object on the taxi office is that we're being asked for retrospective approval. I mean, that, that's an area that we could challenge because they're already in there. Um, but I, we can't, can't lay on them the blame of the antisocial behaviour of the people in no. there. We're not doing that. What we're saying no, is we're the not. taxi rank is totally and utterly inappropriate. In a pedestrian uh, There's nowhere for them to stop. There's no taxi rank there. There's no parking bay for a taxi. Should there. we just vote on the first bit? The yes. Plan? Can we... Yeah. Yes. We've got, we've got, we've got second. second. I, I think Councillor Austin. I seconded it. But yeah. So the, the first here. bit is we like the appearance of the flats, but we're worried about the waste, the cycles and the access. Uh, can we vote on that, please? Yeah, we'll that. All right. Okay, okay, that's carried. And the second part of it is who wants to? You know, I, I can propose that the taxi office moves to the waiting area. 
um, entirely inappropriate in our prime shopping street. Prime dancers. <laughs> well, that's a contradiction of terms. You can't say it's a prime shopping street and then say taxi, taxi service is inappropriate. You need to that's be saying, <laughs> and it, you know, if, it's, if it's not open to those times, because otherwise it's a case of like with a shopping street, surely you need a taxi service. You can't phrase it like that then, can you? Oh. Because it's at night time taxi service in a prime shopping yeah. street. Yes, it's, it's taking up the shop front that could be used for... It's highly appropriate that you would have a taxi service in that place to pick the drunks up at the end of their revelry. Well, they don't have to be all drunk, home. you know. But they are. <laughs> but they are. <laughs> they are. A lot of people go there. A lot of people go there. But I'm just now, uh, you know, but at um, 4 o'clock, they're all drunk. Remember, yeah, it's, it's closed between 10 and 5. You cannot have a taxi office that people can go to between those hours anyway. So would they, yeah, they, they can't go up there. Yes. Yeah. So the issue comes back to, it's not planning. That's my, that's my Can I just ask Dean something, Chair, if I may? We can have another flood downstairs. Hang on. Yeah. I'll just ask Dean something for me. Yeah. Dean, is it, does it actually say on the application for the, cha for the change of use whether or not they, um, it is their intention to pick customers up outside the, the uh, taxi office or whether that they would, they're called elsewhere to phone the office? Well, if it's only, the staff working in there? If it's only open between 10 and 4 in the morning, and there is a way to, way to and they can drive up there then. Yeah, but if you're assuming, so I just want to know whether mm. they are. Oh, and there's a waiting room. Waiting room. Yeah. They're just, they're just, uh, that's what I've just yeah. wanted confirmation. So, if, that's, yeah. if that's the case, then, then that adds more weight to waiting. your elbow. So They've created a waiting room. Oh. Uh, okay, so, so yes, I've tried to. Okay. Okay. Objection to the change of use on the grounds of there is no designated parking, picking up point outside the office. Um, and effect on residents. Yes, it's, it's a residential area. Yeah, effects on residents. Effect on residents. The road is closed between 10 and 5 in the daytime. Well, that's probably irrelevant because it's only at night. And, but even then, there's, even at night, there's no park stopping spaces there. So, effect on residents and antisocial behaviour. And I rather hope that the police could object to this, but... Um, they did last time, didn't they? Yeah. they? Could we ask them then? I think they get sent it anyway, but we could... Oh, them. Has anyone Please get it. They can make an objection on the other yeah. I, I can. I, I do agree with the point about parking. Um, you know, there shouldn't be a pick up and a, a drop off point. Um, it wouldn't be a drop off. Well, it, pick up, pick up point. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do think there is a challenge there, but I'm not sure about the rest of it. Even though I understand that for the people who live in Harbour Street and around that area, this is a nightmare, um, but it's not planning, that's my problem, not it's not planning. Problem. The parking bit is... They have another office just around the corner, so they, they actually need they that. They don't, need that they don't think they need that's that. The problem. Well, let's yeah. just go with the picking up point then, because I get, uh, most of it sits with enforcement and yeah. licensing. Yeah. We will talk about and then I think, and then, and then we need to pick up the rest of the issue of, is, is this an appropriate place and is this appropriate times for them to be open yeah. under licensing? Yeah, and yeah. we can talk about that next week. Yeah. So I'm happy, yeah. I, I can support the, the, the first part of what you said, but I'm not... Uh, yes, the antisocial no, behaviour is around yeah. enforcement, so... so okay. <laughs> you have got potential antisocial behaviour. You're forward assuming antisocial behaviour. Okay, let's go with it. Uh, what, no, can, we, can we just have again what was proposed? Because we've had a discussion since and I think okay. we might still be... Ramsgate Town Council objects to the taxi office, the change of use of the taxi office. Due to no designated picking up point outside the office, the effect on the residents and potential antisocial behaviour. Is that your yeah, own thought? Yes. Thank you. Now that, that's, it was the first bit, not the second and third. I'd agree with the first bit, but not the second. Oh, you can vote you how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. So have we got, I will second it if nobody else seconds it. So can we um, have a vote? Who's in favour of that? <coughs> 
and <laughs> those two renegades over there. Are you abstaining? Oh, thank you. Oh, abstaining, right. Just two abstentions. <laughs> right, can we move on then? <laughs> okay, your next application is um, 18 Nelson Crescent, internal alterations at basement ground and first floor levels. And it's a listed building, so they're applying for listed building consent for the same. Councillor Wing, you called this one in. Um, this is calling this overcrowding, failure to apply for the appropriate HMO designation, and concerns that fire safety may be compromised and it's in a conservation area. Thank you. This is a confusing one. It's, it, oh. it's, uh, it was an adults, uh, it was a house to support adults with, uh, with support needs. Uh, there is presently one adult, and and it's moved to a situation. So it was. It's moved to a situation where it, it's a young care leaver's property, uh, and there has been some concerns uh, about that. In fact, I wrote to the company on some safeguarding issues. But they've now applied to change uh, certain parts of this building. When I approached the the uh, the guy at TDC some months back about whether it had uh, HMO status. It doesn't have a HMO license. Uh, now we did. Uh, so I approached him again because clearly in, its, in the documentation it says it's a HMO. Uh, now the the, the 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 guy at TDC did send me a long email back, and I only got halfway through it a couple of days ago, and, it, and, it, and so that that there is some sort of. There is some sort of loophole that they're able to feed into, but I didn't quite understand it, I'm afraid. Uh, I think it's overdevelopment. There's, there's 10 young people, there's 10 bedrooms. I didn't know whether there was an increase in bedrooms. There's 10, there's 10 bedrooms at present, so I'm not sure whether this so, increases the bedrooms. So the internal facilities, so the internal changes are the office and lounge are switching. So the lounge is going into the basement, the ground floor is the office. They're ripping out the laundry room and they're going to use that as a staff office mm. for a staff room. Staff office is presently in the basement. Yes, so they're just switching the rooms around on the different floors. No increase in Okay, Councillor Alban. Thank you, Chair. Um, can I just ask, uh, Dean, please, um, on, on the application form, and I'm listening to what Councillor Wing's saying, it, it says multiple occupancy. Um, now, if that's a multiple occupancy and it's been in use as a multiple occupancy for over 10 years, then it's exempt from any action. Um, and to add uh, <coughs> from an office to uh, Accommodation, I think now under the under the use classes order, I think that's legal. You can do that effectively, but as it says here, um, the uh, consent for internal. They're sort of going for internal alterations and layout ch changes, uh, and I think that's that's the bit that the uh, officers and conservation officer will, will will be looking at as it's a listed building. Um, so that that would be my only concerns really, because I think two more bedrooms per se is a multiple occupancy. We've already got ten. Isn't going to make any a, bl a blind. Sorry, bedroom. I can't see ten bedrooms. Oh, thank you. I don't think you've got the whole building there. You've just got the bit that's being adapted, haven't you? Oh yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can, can I just close that, Steve? Now, if they changed, they went. They went from. Uh, so this isn't regulated by either either the. the Ofsted or the CQC. Yeah. So when the adults were there, it was regulated by the CQC, right. sanctuary housing. So clearly there was a change of use in yeah. terms of which, uh, 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 in terms of which, uh, which need was being met, if, if you like. At that point, if there's a change in use, could we trigger? Does the ten years start again? Because the use is different. It's moved from adult support needs. To, to care leavers. Well, it depends. Um, and it's gone from a supported living situation to a yeah. We just give them a room situation. But the majority, the majority of that use as a multiple occupancy was for people to live there. So that that's that's the that would be the established use as a multiple occupancy for them actually living there. No matter that someone is uh, operating that use or you know with the helping the young people. Um, so, personally, I can't really see that it would have much effects on the neighbourhood, etc. 
That would be my concern with the multiple occupancy. So the, the thing Sorry, is... Sorry, Councillor Crittenden. Yes. Person in there. Mm -hmm. So before it was... Adults. Adults. Mm -hmm. And with any particular need? Uh, that no, has not. A lot of mental health, health. A lot of and it was it was issues. supported living, and now it's mm -hmm. it's still supported. It's care leavers. Lo mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there is no overnight support for these young people. It mm -hmm. finishes at five. There's a caretaker. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's planning again. No, it isn't no. planning. Uh, that that will have an impact mm -hmm. on the area, but it's not planning. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Okay. So, do we have a proposal? Uh, Chair, I propose that uh, that we make no comment, Chair. No, yeah. second. Can't yeah. yeah. decide on this. Um, um, uh, all those in favour? Um, abstaining. Are you in favour? I'm abstaining. Too. You're abstaining. Two abstentions. I agree. It's difficult, but I'm just not planning. Right. So the next one is yeah, no, sorry. No, it's okay. Forty eight Grange Road. Um, change of use from commercial unit and one four bedroom masonette to two studio flats, two one bedroom flats and one two bedroom masonette, together with replacement of front door, erection of first floor rear lobby extension. Yeah. Alterations to existing single storey re extension, including alterations to fenestration, erection and installation of balustrading, if that's the right way, to provide roof terrace and erection of external staircase to rear. Councillor Makinson, you called this in uh, reason for overcrowding. Yeah, it does yeah. seem quite a lot of mm. units in there. Size. Yeah. It's, is it this our place one? Our place, yeah. Right. So we've got, just bear in mind the alley road back because it's not that clear on the plans. Yeah. So this is existing, you have the commercial unit and the kitchen at the back and you've got the different floors. So there's a living at the top, second floor, there's already four beds in it. So what they're going to do is get rid of the commercial space, have a studio flat at the front. Studio flat number two will be accessed from the alleyway. Yeah. And then you've got the steps going into flat three, and then the staircase going up to flat four and into the third floor. That all self contained? All self contained. So, how many flats in all? We've got two studios and uh, three flats. Four flats. Four flats. Four flats. Four flats. Yeah. Is it a chip shop? No, it's a studio. Yeah, it's a studio oh, yeah. It was yeah. the yeah. exactly yeah. 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 <laughs> Lots of the meat. Next to the Beano. Been closed for a couple of years. Yes, I've actually visited uh, through work a family and I've gone up the back round the corner. It took us ages to find the property and anything that happens to this building is going to be a damn, uh, an improvement on, on the state of it. It's in, it's in a shocking state. The flats are presently in a shocking state. Hey, could you, excuse me Chair, Dean, if I may ask. Uh, Dean, um, it's got erection and installation of balustrading to provide a roof terrace. <laughs> uh, that concerns me slightly. Of any of my is it that problems. one at the back on the right? Yeah, so it's yeah. going into flat two. Oh, okay, so it's at a low level. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the access in. I'm, yeah, I'm not keen on it, but I propose that we make no comment. Yeah, no comment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is everybody, uh, can we have a vote? Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Is everybody? Yeah, gone two years ago. Gone two years ago. Yeah. 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 You all miss that. I think that's yeah. unanimous. Okay. Thank that you. Be long right. Right. The next application is One Cottage Road, erection of a three story rear extension, flat roof, rear dormer, and first floor front bay window, together with alterations to fenestration following demolition of existing rear extension. It's in the conservation area. Council making some called it in overdevelopment. Thank you. You beat, you beat me to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? It's. Is it just going to be one residence? That's what. If, if, in which case, it's obviously not a development. So um, it's just by Albion Place Gardens, just off of uh, Wellington Crescent. Yeah. Um, right. So just bear in mind as well, the property next door already has two bays, first and second. Yeah. Um, so you've got the existing and then the proposed extension in the back. Base, oh, which is so this is existing, so they're putting a bay here, yeah. first story, and a dorm at the back. So, it's just one residence. One residence. 
Oh, then no comment at that point. No comment. Is that your proposal? Sorry. Yeah, proposals, no comment. Um, lots of seconders and everybody's oh, yes. voting. Indeed, Chair, indeed. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. And I think that's it. And it's just and the last item is just to note the next meeting. Next meeting is the 8th of December, 7 o'clock. Thank you. At the Customs House. Thank you.